that which is below is as that which is above, and that which is above is as that which is below. He's in the Guinness Book of Records in three categories. By the time he was in his 20s, Jeff McBride was already headlining in Las Vegas. Then, unexpectedly, he set out on a quest for the hidden wellsprings of his art. Through myth and mystery, ancient rite and modern rituals, he sought real magic. I didn't wake up one day and say, you know, I'm going to go find real magic. Just by pushing myself into territory that was a little scary, uh, you know, I found it. Drumming and dancing around the fire. It's nothing new, far from it. But beginning in the late 1980s, this ancient tradition was reborn, especially in the United States. No traditional ethnic tribe, drummers with different backgrounds were drawn to the fire. Wiccans, modern druids, neo-pagans, postmodern shamans, a new tribe united in dancing ecstasy and rhythmic meditation fire. Members of this tribe have taken the lessons of the drum circle and transformed them, drawing on ancient traditions, both Eastern and Western, from shamanism to Jungian psychology and alchemical symbolism. In gatherings large and small, they dance, drum, and chant, often from sunset to sunrise for three consecutive nights. People have been gathering around fires since the beginning of time to make music and magic and tell stories together. You know, when you get a group of people together for an extended period of time doing a meditative group activity followed by the sunrise, people are going to have a profound experience regardless of their spiritual or religious background. It's like all of the underpinnings kind of fall away and it's you and the light and, and that's it. people enter a fire circle, they're entering an alchemist flask. We set up a perimeter of torches that create a literal container. And the people coming into the fire circle are the elements. And then we take all of these elements that enter our bottle, enter our magical circle, and through the drumming and the music, we heat them gently. And over the days and the days that the dance continues, people sweat, they move through their, their blockages, and they just offer anything that's led into the fire, and they get lighter and lighter and tr can transform the light of their life into the gold of music and rhythm and community, dancing and thriving and supporting each other. So it's literally an alchemist vessel and we change our lead into gold. At the fire, the fire in the center represents the sun. And all the people, all of our community, all of the tribe is dancing a universal dance. The people that dance closest to the fire are dancing that, that fast mercurial orbit. Next ring out from that is the planet Venus, where people dance a little bit more slowly and a little bit more gracefully. Just out from the orbit of Venus is Earth, and you'll find people rattling there a little bit in trance, keeping the rhythm, maybe saying their prayers, dancing their dance. On the outside of the Earth orbit, where we have the line of iron torches is the orbit of Mars. And this is where people support the energy. And they rattle, and they, they sing the songs back, and they are witnessing and supporting the dancers that may be dancing for three days straight around this fire. 
just beyond the orbit of Mars is Jupiter. And this is where it's more freestyle dancing. Uh, the, uh, the planet Jupiter is mythically represented by Jolly Jove, balance. And beyond the ring of Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn, of course, uh, alchemically is represented by the element lead, and this is where people sit and ground and meditate. Uh, so the orbits of the fire circle mirror the dance of the universe. Sparks from their fire have spread. Communities can be found throughout the U.S. and beyond. It's beginning to ignite the public imagination, at least in certain circles. Burning Man is an extraordinary event held every year in the Nevada desert. A temporary city, an art exposition of unprecedented scale, a gathering of tribes, a world of performance art where the line between participant and observer vanishes. We've brought the alchemical fire circle out to Burning Man a couple of times, and what we found there in that temporary city of 30,000 people or so, where the focus is on radical self-expression and radical survival and outrageous art, that what we found is that when people would come through our gate into our installation, some would end up staying all night with us. You know, that there's a, a deeper magic than just, oh, what is this? Let's check it out. Okay, now we can leave. You know, so one of the things that I think the fire circle brings is this sense of digging in and staying for a period of time. Jeff believes the fire circle will continue to spread, but he's in no hurry. That's one of the many lessons he's learned from performing magic. That which is above is as that which is below. And that which is below is as that which is above. 